Welcome to the video about the arc theming. I have some good news in the sense that um, I've just made a script, a long script, that's going to make um, arc themes automatically. So as we speak, and I look over my shoulder, as we speak, my computer is building all these themes. As you know, if you go to an XFC anyway, you go to appearance and you see a lot of arc themes. Now you hate them or you like them, you can always un remove them again. But it is fun to have from time to time a different kind of color. So the accent changes a little bit and we have, depending on the wallpaper, maybe we ha can have something different. So it's about those choices that we have. Everything is based on arc and maybe some history lesson. The arc theme is actually coming from GitHub arc theme and it's from Horst 3180 and it's not just from Horst, it's from 27 contributors, but mainly you see here and then we see that there is no more uh, involvement at some point in time. So I don't know, six months, I don't know how many months ago, at some point in time, it um, well, we, we saw a change, a change in management. Let's let's call it like that. Arch Linux, and then um, Arc theme. Let's see if we get there. And then suddenly we saw something else. We saw that Arch Linux provided the same Arc theme into GitHub.com Nico Hood. So Nico Hood is taking over. And as you, if you see the, both of them, the same text is applied, it's, it's forked, as they say. So it's a copy paste basically. But of course he's continuing and that's wonderful that he is now working on it with other contributors who moved probably to here. And you see that there are indeed some spikes in here and the development is going on, which is super. So everything came from Horst and people are continuing to build all the 108, how many is that? Lots of changes commits to the GitHub. So that's a little bit history. So our arc theme is coming from here. Now, Eric's history <laughs> was that he has a GitHub and it's called Arcolora. And on this GitHub, I have already scripts, installation scripts, that says the goal is to make scripts that make it easy to change the accent colors of our theme. So the blue color, and then explanations here, and so on and so on, the blue colors change it to any color you like. That's basically it, and there are 16 million colors to choose from. So that's great. So I had this script already ready. Okay, so it is, it's a build upon something I had already. Now, to be honest, I did take a look at the changecolor.sh, which is here. And if I have a video or tutorial or somebody who gets what this, uh, what, I, what I'm supposed to do, then I'll probably give it a go. But I worked and continued on my work that I had already. Okay. So what did I do? I Ooh, let's go to repositories. I've made a new GitHub, Arclinux Arc Themes, and I have just one script that's now running. Let's have a look. Yep, still continuing, fine. So he's making all the blood, Botticelli, all the themes that we have. My assistant back there is going to make all these scripts, Emerald, Chris, uh, Rimson, Evopop and all these guys are being developed, but not this time because this is still here on the one from Horst. This time we're developing on the one from Nico. Hood, this one, right. So that's the change and that's, uh, well, a half day's work to make all the scripts work and he's now building it. So it will take, I suppose, another two hours probably to build everything. So I want just to share how um, is it, it is done, a little bit technicality, 
behind what you get. Ooh, I did close, now it's open. Oof. So, what can you do? You can have a look at the code. Download the zip, that's okay. Let's do it a little bit more difficult. Let's copy paste this thing. And then right mouse click, open a new window on the desktop, git, clone, whatever you find on the net. Then you get this folder. And because of the git clone, I can push something back up if there is a typo or something in the video, I can immediately fix it. Now, this is for the guys that, well, first of all, I made sure that everything was working. So these were my initial scripts. And at some point in time I said, okay, I'm gonna get one script for all the Arc Linuxes, but first I made sure that these guys all worked, okay? Story is get the necessary software, quick overview. And it was meant in back in the days that I had Debian, right? apt-get, and that was Solus, and there is Pac-Man, right? So get me the information on the distro, and if the distro is Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, and so on, get all these packages. If it's Arch, Arch, Merge, and so on, get these packages, and Solus, get that. So just install the stuff you need, basically. Let's keep it open. The change colors is going to get everything from Nico Hood. Then he's going to say this is the new color and the new color is a red color. This is red. And the other one, the standard one is blue. So it obviously if it stays blue, you know that something went wrong. So if you run the script, you get a red arc theme. And what it does is check in your files do I find somewhere a particular color code? And if that particular color code is there, it's going to switch it with the new one. And that's all it does. Then you are going to go inside the folder from Nico Hood. Say, let's go inside, let's generate, let's make. Okay. And one up. I'm just thinking, I think I need to write something here like in my other script rename and move what's happening here here we're going to well i'm using the script this is not from me i'm using the script from nico so nico is going to put his themes in user share themes that's not a good place not if i'm gonna make another one and another one and another one so in here we have this script that says give give it give it a name right you choose one of the 60 million colors you say i'll give it a name choice what's happening you call it eric what's going to be what's going to happen that is going to call it arc dash eric arc dash eric dark arc eric darker you see so that's what's going to happen and everything inside index theme and all that is changed and moved because we're going to override it again later with something new or we're gonna get the, the original one back because what this script does is not taking into account that you have different colors and names it just produces arc blue and arc dark blue and arc darker blue so it's overwriting the, the original maybe that you have installed so that's why we move it back to your personal home folder themes and looking over my shoulder he's still busy busy putting everything in my home folder there okay four five is clean everything up since this is then the red version we get rid of it again and if you want to get uh, back then the original one then okay this is wrong you see this is Horst this was the installation of uh, early on so what we need to do again is do again this one. That's exactly the same. Okay, fine. So we're getting that guy in. Reinstallation of the original one is actually this. Then go inside.
Let me think. He's getting that. Yeah. Then we do this. Arc theme. We go inside this one. And you install everything. And this is not necessary. And that is not necessary. Like so. So git clone everything, go inside org theme, generate everything, make install. Fine. So this is how the original one is going to be set back. Now this was this thing is not interesting for me in the sense that I'll make sure that it works, I'll test it. But this is one, this is the one that that is has to work for me. I need to make all I don't know around 20 themes, maybe 18, I don't know. So this is the script that I'm been working on. And we're going to count the theme. How how much uh, how many themes do I create in the end? That's interesting to know. And we have here a complete array. So this is when everything is good. That's running right now on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Not that bad as guess. 21. So of course you test first with two things and if everything works, then you let them run the rest. What it's going to do is going to check this array. This is an array name. So I just Googled, you know, don't think I'm, I'm a genius. I just know, happen to know that in Linux and then bash, there are arrays and, and that's all it is and you go and have a look again what how does it work an array and okay then you know how to write it and that's it if you know how to write it in any language then it's okay so i copy pasted something um, well basic for like these these very small examples you can find them often i type example behind it as well example and then you get the drift of what the code is, what its intention of the code is. Don't know if we can find it quickly, something relevant to the video, but um, that's basically what I did. Okay, so I understood that there is a four, four M in the array and the array is up here defined. So the, the first one is gonna be Casablanca, this M and the second is gonna be crimson and so one is going in a loop and it's not four next like it used to be in basic but it's four and then done and it's going back up and it's going to take the next one all right so a loop so then we need to, to get the stuff from uh, the arc um, website but first i'm gonna make sure that when we go again in the second loop then there will be a file called arc theme and it will have another color. So first, if there is an arc theme color, get rid of it. So, and I'm gonna be pseudo to be sure that I'm really uh, deleting everything because when you're building stuff, it, it blocks um, the removal. So pseudo to make sure. So basically there is nothing. If there is nothing, then I'm gonna get the latest files from uh, Nico Hood. Everything is downloaded. We get this file, this folder actually, arc theme. Case M, case this M in here equals, and that's Casablanca then. Case M, if Casablanca in Casablanca, then a variable called choice is Casablanca. That's the name of our theme, arc. Casablanca or dark Casablanca and so on. And also the color definition. So if if we are looping and the M equals Casablanca, then the choice is name the theme Casablanca and the color is this. So it goes through a case structure. It goes start here and then it ends with the reversal of the letters case ESAC. So C A S A. So read it from right to left then you get case okay so team count was somewhere up there team count is zero so when he starts i say just put one 
uh, so one plus one and one plus two and so on is keeps is going to count uh, at one to the variable this is just for some fun this is going to be red so I am I can see it on my screen not at this point but he's building again as I is still playing building that's good so this is gonna be red and then the blocks that you saw earlier on these blocks here are now all in one file so the block here is change all the colors okay changing all the colors fixing this fixing that fixing this is all the is counting the fixes fix one fix two fix three it's going to change everything and then we're going to generate it so here if every every color that it was blue is now red for instance then we say to the scripts okay generate new one make one now as i have told we follow nico to the letter so he's going to call it user dark uh, sorry user share themes arc and arc dark and arc darker i don't want to give it that name so this function over here is going to say look um, take the choice from up there choice here and change it well first of all copy everything from uh, where it is arc in user share themes arc here and copy to your theme and where you're the boss this is your home directory dot themes so you can do anything in that directory we're moving it and we renaming it that's basically what we're doing here Nin renaming the folders but also renaming the index team and then to make cl everything clean again we're removing everything on the user share themes so that's everything is gone again so that means end creation of number theme number one choice is i don't know casablanca or something and it goes up to the top again he goes again to here and says the next M. What's the next M? Ah, Crimson is the next M. So he's going to say, fine, let's first delete everything because there is already an, uh, a folder there. He's going to delete it. He's going to download it again. He's, this time he's going to say Crimson. Crimson, okay, so the variable is now um, choice Crimson and new color one. I, I've reused, I have an added, I know that I could have used one variable here, but that's due to the fact how I, how all my scripts are built up from the past. So, okay, double use of crimson here. Otherwise I could have used just M, but okay, doesn't matter. As long as it works and as long as this little guy over there is making all my themes and he still is, so that's good. I hope this makes some sense. Um, videos can be rewatched <laughs> if it doesn't but uh, basically this is how everything works what we can do well first off save this what we can do to continue to see if this works anyway um, we can do that as well and we go for I don't know color shoes or something something like that okay so we choose a color. We say we wanna, I don't know, something bluish, something bright. How about this color? We like a color. And we say we want our art theme to have this color. We copy paste it. You go, uh, so use this for just one. Okay, let's go in here. Get the necessary software. That's done. Change color. Well, that's done. Actually, that's not done, Eric. Let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, it's done. <laughs> Fine. Ch checking, right? Change colors. The new color is not red, but is a bluish kind of color. So, control save. Is it correctly? 93B7. 93b7 f2 okay so that's the new color never use a hashtag no hashtag color code okay all right fine safe then we have the make install then we have the rename we need to give it a name 
Hmm. I need to give, the, give it a name. Always a problem giving names to colors. Name. There are actually color names. The question is which site will provide me with a name? Can we use Cobalt? Carolina, how about that? They're not exactly the same colors, but there are websites who provide the name, the actual name of a color. And it's beautiful. Sometimes. <laughs> What's this color? This is not my color. Is it? Nope. Totally different color. Anyway, um, it's just an exercise. So cobalt, why not cobalt? Okay, cobalt, fine. Let's keep that in mind. So that goes over there. Open the terminal. That guy goes over here. That guy goes over here. So the one we ran, number two, we've saved and changed and we are off. So he's downloading our team. He's now fixing all the colors everywhere, everywhere he goes. I think we can show you something. Where can we show you something? In here. Here I've changed already all the colors. Everything is now lightish blue. It's not the same blue than it used to have. It's more interesting if you used red and you know, everybody knows, okay, it's red. But it's it's sure, I'm sure it's it's changed. So LS, that was number two. Then we're going to install it. With the information that is now changed in our theme, we just rely on Ah, yeah. So the GNOME shell, let's fix that as well. So he wants to know something about the packages. So get the necessary software. I fixed it on my computer, but definitely not here, I see. So when we're on Arch, Arch Linux GNOME shell. Let's see what we get. They're always interesting to do stuff. Control V. It's called Arc Linux Arc. So, if we want to make sure it installs, we have to call it Arc Linux. Not Archmerge anymore. So, if we run this one, Let's see if it installs it. Yep, GNOME shell is going to be installed. So that's that. So basically, we need to do that here as well. In the get the necessary software, we have Arco Linux fixed as well. I had done that manually later on the other PC and the other PC is still working. Grand. Okay. What is these two guys or okay this one can go. I think it was this terminal that we were working on. Make install. Let's see if we get any other messages. He wants to be sudo, of course, because he's going to write in user share themes. So it needs to be to, uh, sudo. So what's happening now? In this folder, there's an arc theme and in the arc theme, he's building stuff. Common, cinnamon, no, cinnamon probably not. He's going to tackle first GTK2 dark. Oops, light assets and he's making them. What is he making? He's making all the elements of your GTK theme. Progress bars, 
but then specifically with our chosen color of the one of the 60 million colors it actually kind of goes with the uh, our colors but then again i don't think we've we're much off with the blue the standard arc blue and this blue it's a little bit lighter like i said if you choose red it's obvious but we have a few reds and i thought why not take a blue because i had also another idea is it installed the mint aqua this is also a possibility mint blue we can make arc themes to go with these mint y elements find the color and use it i kind of like this one the mint aqua I'm not sure what's what i'm getting what kind of blue i'm getting with this one lighter that would be an idea so another what if but that's up to you guys you just run scripts you just let them work and the end result you get something okay let's move back up where were we so he's going to tackle every element in there he's going to gtk2 and that was the light so maybe he's in the darker yeah he's now here or not he's already finished he is moving on to the darker nope not here then gtk3 maybe not yet he's going to get here here's assets is he making more don't think so so He's going over all the configurations, the make file things, and he's following the route. And everything is now ready to rock and roll here. So he says, it's installed in user share themes. So basically, when I change now, appearance, and I go to arc dark, this is my blue, right? Arc, whoa, that's bright. And arc dark, and arc darker. That's the blue that I created just now. You hate it, you like it. It's just one of 16 million colors. What next? Well, your original arc theme is gone, overwritten. So we go to number four. And we say, okay, we're gonna call it cobalt. Now what's gonna happen? The themes that are empty is now the themes that are in user share themes are moved here renamed and we can reuse it later we can have here index theme arc cobalt arc cobalt everything is arc cobalt meaning the system now knows that there is something new we can choose arc cobalt dark great because next one is actually clean up the themes and is it still open no clean up themes actually we're just gonna delete it so the remove done so if you want to check you can it's gone there is no arc and arc dark anymore nor is there an art darker but mine are still here mine are in the home folder dot themes and if you want to get it back let's see if this works I have to type something there let's see if it works and it's there it seems since there is no color change let's have a look because yeah I thought so so he still has the, the arc dark, my color, my kind of color is still there. So the only thing we need to add in this line, clean up, is um, here. 
we need to delete the folder and we have something here that is going to delete stuff in the other one higher up no not here close this thing close it up here open with atom here we have a saying if you find something delete it this needs to go over there this needs to go in here so cloning is okay like this deleting the old files downloading later no, no, no. okay if it is if there is something here delete it first otherwise you are getting my blue one and then get the new stuff in then build it again okay better six so this one has been deleted there's a new build and it's going to voila it's going to take time because it needs to rebuild all the images and last time he said oh the images are there and he just made the theme so that's something else that's uh well what's wrong basically so now he's making the original theme this is the original blue one maybe we can have a look what is the original look the original look is that's the blue the standard arc blue right and all what we do with these scripts is change every blue in your SVG to a particular color let me open this another way with sublime text every color this is white every color that's blue is going to be changed with another color and that's the only thing we could we do and that's the fun of SVGs and that's why Sardi Surfing are still SVGs you can run scripts and change the colors that's exactly what I did here and all the assets are now being built again let's pause the video a little bit let's look oh the screen is went dark so let's pause here I'm gonna check my themes you check how many minutes passed but the finished uh, the installation is finished and we can actually have a look at the original theme so the original theme has been installed arc arc darker and this is mine and then arc itself sorry that one so everything is back as it was we have original arc theme we can also do of course i know pseudo pacman minus s arc gtk theme but what's the fun in that right so we build it ourselves and we've um, now on the system there is one disadvantage of building stuff yourself you can't remove it you need to manually remove it if you do it with a minus s oh sorry if you do it like that you can say to pacman remove it again if you build it you can't now let's see what happens because it was installed <laughs> so it does you will remove it since the package was there but we've overwritten it but he doesn't know that so arc is still here you see but what is here are still files there <laughs> crazy arc dark yep still files there even though i deleted everything strange right hmm puzzling anyway this um is the end of the video it's 30 minutes long okay 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 i hope it was interesting it's a little bit technical of course uh, the thing is we're gonna test the the themes now so in when it's done building and it's not done building we're going to upload it in our testing repo and see if it is okay in all our desktops and that's a lot of course but we trust that Nico is uh, doing uh, well he's going to develop it further and that the work is is done uh, super so we'll see and um, well I'm out I guess you try it out and if there are questions you can always ask me all right cheers